Hello, everybody. I'm Zach Maletz. I'm Alex Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the Mercy Years Movie Minute, and today is a bit of a weird episode. Typically we talk about like upcoming movies and what's new and what's like happening. Things that are topical. Yes, things that are topical. But today we're actually going to go back in time a little bit and discuss a little bit about uh, our favorite movie and then a little bit about a, a newer-ish movie that, I don't know, we just thought would be fun to cover. Yeah, it came um, out last year. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, kind of, kind of recent. Um, and so our first movie is Baby Driver. Um, both of us very, very fond about the movie. Yeah. I actually found out that the movie was out in theaters because of Alex. Yeah, I think I was. I think that was the first conversation. Yeah, we ever had yeah. Every about any any time we spoke was about Baby Driver. Yeah. Uh, absolutely amazing movie. Um, why don't you? go first on your thoughts, uh, my thoughts? about the movie. Yeah. Well, okay, Baby Driver is one of one of my favorite movies of all time by uh, one of the greatest, one of the best directors we have right now, Edgar Wright. For sure. Do you want me to explain the, the, yeah, go the for plot? It. Yeah, sure. Explain so the plot, the plot yeah. is, uh, it's about this guy, I can't remember his real name, but they call him Baby for like the entire movie. Yeah, they say his real name like only once in yeah. the movie. I think yeah. it, it's Miles. I think it's is his real it? name. Yes, I think. Are you sure you're not getting Spider Verse? Mixed no, with, with this? I'm not getting Spider Verse. Right. I wish I was talking about Spider Verse. I, about. I love that movie. Yeah. But no, because it was a pun. Because he drives, and miles are what you drive in. Oh, Unless I you're in know that. any part of the I didn't world. Know that. that was pretty cool. Yeah, true, true. But yeah. you know, uh, so and he, uh, I'm saying oh, a lot because I don't, I didn't plan this out. Do you want me to explain? No, it? I can do this. Okay. I'm a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, basically, as a kid, his parents died in the car accident, so he has tinnitus, and he constantly listens to music. He was in the car accident, that's how he got tinnitus. Yeah, yeah. and he listened to music to drown out the tinnitus, and uh, as a kid, basically, because his parents were dead, he, like, stole cars, and one of the cars he stole was uh, Kevin Spacey's, but not, like, actual Kevin Spacey, like, yeah. character he plays. We don't really know what he actually does. He was a doctor. He was a doctor? Yeah, that's why, okay. they, that's why they called him Doc. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know it's like so much, I feel inferior now. You I've, just know so much about I've the seen, movie. I have a list of, I don't like, have it anymore. Tidbits? No, it was a list of the amount of times I've seen Ed, Edgar Wright movies. And okay. I think the highest was Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. Because I love that movie. And then Baby Driver is like right after. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so. Kevin Spacey's character was like a, a, I don't know, crime boss? Yeah. But he it's, planned it's very vague. He planned heists well, as far as we knew. And so basically, Baby was his best driver. And he just had to drive the heist. But Baby wanted to get out of the game because he met somebody. Met a girl. Yeah. And Baby he just tracker. kind of, he just wanted to no longer be in this crime life because yeah. it was dangerous. Um, yeah. So. To, to clarify, tinnitus um, is like constant ringing in your ears, so that's why he uses the music to like drown that out and stuff. Um, also, but basically you covered, covered The entire everything. movie is set to the music. Yes, oh my gosh, okay. And that is so which, good, I don't know, so good. I, I don't know if you've read the script. I have. No. You've read the script? Yeah. My gosh. I, what was I gonna do with senior year of high school? I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> but like, if you look at the script, Edgar Wright wrote in the exact songs he wanted. To go along with, yeah, that's which pretty cool. You can't, that's cool. you can't do before like you get the rights yeah. to, but he's like, no, I want these, these songs. songs. yeah. And the only one they didn't get the rights to was um, the one song by Beck. I think Deborah. They Deborah. were talking about it in the diner. Okay. Okay, I don't, I don't know. I know this movie um, way, way better yeah, than I thought I did. A very, very, I love this movie. When he means everything is time to the score, he means everything. Except for one part where he doesn't have music and you can hear the tinnitus. Yes, yeah. Every time there's no tinnitus, they use... Uh, no or, music. Sorry, they no use music, ringing. sorry. They use violins to illustrate the ringing, which I Except think is awesome. at one point he takes his pulse and he uses the beat. Of yeah, his heart. yeah, um, and like so, the opening scene, everything is timed to the song he's listening to. Bell bottom. They they even that's have like some of the words like to the song like spray painted as graffiti. No, that's in as, the, that's not in the opening. That's the second part. That's like after the heist, because the movie starts with a five minute. You heist. get what I mean. You get what I mean. I'm just saying. Um, but and it's 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 so good, and the, he's thought of like every single detail of the movie, like the one scene when they're in the diner and he hands uh, his girl a, like a note. He hands his girl a note to like tell her to like be careful because he's with shady people. 
you can actually see like when they're sitting down at the table, him writing the note. Yeah. Which so, is so good, like so thought thought that, through. That's like a standard Edgar Wright thing, though. Yeah, he he cares about what he's making. Everything like, he does. Again, yeah. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I love this movie. I if you've read like the uh, the comics it's based off of, it's almost frame for frame. Yeah, and it's it's great. It's it's awesome. Yeah, for sure. Um, f uh, there is a little controversy with the movie. Um, so partly why I like it is because I'm a gearhead. I love cars. Um, and that, so the movie is basically music and cars kind of meshed together. Um, and it got a lot of controversy uh, for the opening scene that we were previously talking about because the red Subaru that he uses to drive away in right. is there's no way that that car can actually do what it does in the movie. Yes, I totally knew that, 100%. Really, really awesome stunts that they do it with, but it's a four-wheel drive you know, all car. The, all the stunts they do, though, are actually Are like, real, yes. Yeah. They, they did use a real-wheel drive conversion version of the car to do the one, the these, one stunt. These are words goes, I know. Where he goes almost backwards and then yes. comes back. You know what I'm talking about, at I least. do, but I don't know yeah. the technical Sorry, I'm, I'm getting a little, little car savvy here, but uh, there was a bit of controversy in like the car world, I guess, with the opening scene. Um, and I mean, the, the car is still beautiful, though. They definitely picked it for I know it's for a, it's its a WRX, though. I do yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and what uh, the actual actor that played Baby uh, uh, was allowed to keep the car, which I thought was pretty cool. I can't remember, I remember his movie. name. Yeah, remember. I can't either, which unfortunate is pretty unfortunate. But just every detail. Of it's, this movie, so good. It's one so of those good. movies where it has a it has a great soundtrack too. Yeah, for like, sure. And if because I, I have the soundtrack on Spotify and I listen to it all the time, and every time I listen to it, I'm like I can immediately like mm. picture the exact the scene. movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so good. It's great. Um, so what would you rate it, one to ten? I don't, because I don't want to give it a ten because. Really? Well, I do, but I don't want to at the same time because there, there are flaws with everything. Oh, for sure, yeah. I can't. You can poke holes in anything. I can't see them yet, but I want to give it like a nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nine, all right. Sorry, okay. Nine point six six. Give it that nine okay. and two thirds. All right. All right. All right. Um, well, I'm gonna give it a ten. Uh, absolutely love this movie. Really, really great. Uh, definitely should go watch. If you ever have the opportunity, uh, it's it's kind of an older movie now. It's it came out when we were what two like years? Cause it was our senior year of high school, so like the three, summer, the summer. The summer. I, I remember seeing it before I came up here for a month. So yeah, so um, almost three years old. Uh, yeah. But if you ever have the opportunity, I think it's on Amazon it's Prime. It's on. I and YouTube, know, I the, YouTube definitely has it. I own the Blu-ray. Yeah, uh, very good movie. Definitely, I buy the, definitely. The 4K. Would recommend. And speaking of babies, uh, we our, were we were babies in our, the 90s. Yes, our next movie we're talking about is mid 90s. Uh, both 99, so barely there, but we were we were babies in the 90s. I don't count myself as a 90s kid. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll explain the premise of mid 90s. So mid 90s is simply about this real little kid. I think he's 12 he's, in the movie. He's 13, 13 in the movie. Yeah. But he looks like he's 10. Yeah, yeah. He's really, really, really young. Um, and it's simply just like his life in it's, the 90s. It's a summer. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. Discovering like mm -hmm. skater culture. Yeah, yeah. Um, so like it, it opens up with him like trying to figure out like what present he should get his brother for his birthday and stuff like that. And they do like the trope where like the older brother's like, stay out of my room and stuff. Um, and it's very nostalgic uh, for, I'm sure, for people that lived in the 90s. Um, the way they filmed it too, they put yeah, like a, yeah, the it was filter a four by over three it. ratio. Yeah, very, filter. very, very cool. Um, and just like style wise was like classic 90s uh, film. Um, basically what happens is one day he stumbles into a skate shop and just sees these group of kids watching like a like a, a skate sponsor me video, uh, which is a, simply a video where a skateboarder films himself skating. If you couldn't sponsored. tell, he's a real skater. Yes, bro, I actually so. skate. The shirts obey. It's a skater shirt. All, all that. Um, but uh, and they're like, man, I wish we could do that one day. And this little kid is just like, like amazed by he these gets... older kids that can skate. Like they're he, he he's looking at them like they're superheroes basically. And throughout the movie, he becomes friends with them. Uh, and and it's basically just him learning to love how to skateboard. Uh, and 
a lot of, there's a lot of controversy with the movie because there's a little bit of language that yeah the, well there's like, there's language and there's definitely some scenes that like there's one scene where I I felt personally like I am not okay with yeah, this yeah yeah jo Jonah Hill was definitely trying to go for like the raw like 90s um and it, it didn't really paint skaters in it's, in the best light i think personally so, the reason like the reason like some of the things i think he wanted to do with the main character was because he looks 10. Yeah, yeah, for like, sure. There's there's that one scene where they, they go to like, not not a party, but it's like at the one person's yeah, house. It's at, uh, yeah, it's at and that character's house. Yeah, yeah, we can't say this character's yes, name or because, we will get a fine. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's, and it's, just stuff is going on. I'm like, he looks like he's 10 and I am not comfortable yeah, with this at yeah. all. Um, so it definitely paints characters in a, or characters, skaters, in not the best light. Um, it it kind of, it kind of just makes, all skaters look bad? No, I mean, Ray. Uh, yeah, yeah, but he... I mean, it, it portrays that skaters do what they do in the movie, and it's it's definitely not the case. Um, and for that reason, and like going into it before hearing that, I thought I wasn't gonna like it, but I wound up liking it in a strange way. I don't know, it yeah, has... Yeah, because I, I have no connection to yeah. skater culture at all. I'm not a skater bro like him. <laughs> uh, but, because you told me about it, and you said we are gonna do it for this. And so I go and I watch the trailer and I'm like, oh, it's written and directed by Jonah Hill? Yeah. I, I don't think this is gonna be great. Yeah, yeah. And then I watch it, I'm like, this is really well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's 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 weird because like I don't know. The plot is a little risky. There's points where it's like, ooh. He, he probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah. But like the editing style and the way they chose to shoot it, and I don't know, the way that you wind up falling in love with the characters. Yeah really like redeems the movie there's um, only there, there's like one character i'm like i didn't like that kid yeah for sure yeah um and there's there's definitely some relatable scenes to actual skating uh there's one scene where on they're on the roof of a school oh, yeah. trying to skate this gap and it's plain and simple it's like a, a two-story drop underneath them it's pretty dangerous and uh, there's there are two characters that are so good that they could possibly go pro. Ray. Uh, yes, and the Ray other one, and the other one. Let's call them SF. How about no, that? No, it's FS. FS. Okay, yeah. we'll call them FS. Ray and FS. They could easily go pro. They Except are very very good. FS skaters. is into kind of shady stuff. That yeah, yeah. Um, and, then, and actually, the guy that played Ray, I think, is a real life sponsored skater. I don't know. I could probably IMDb this afterwards. Yeah, because I, I think they actually in. changed the character of Ray to fit him because he's not the best actor, but he's a good skater. Um, and so they easily go over the gap like it's nothing. And then um, Ruben is like the other kid. Yes, there's who... two younger boys, Ruben and our main character, Steven. Stevie. Stevie. Um, Stevie. And they're they're very very beginner skaters. They're not comfortable doing the gap at all. And then the fifth character, fourth grade, um, he's just kind of there. He's, he's yeah, he's very he's, film. Doesn't he's really skate filming much. it all, but he, he's filming it all. But he's not the um, he's not the camera for the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. He just has a camera and he films. Yeah, okay, okay, he's just there to, to fill the space of literally. There's there's every every skater group has somebody that films. I guess skating for I, me for me that's me. In my in my group back home, uh, so I kind of related to fourth grade a lot in the movie. Um, but so Ruben goes to try and do the gap and kitches chickens out before he gets to the gap. Can't do this. And so Stevie was like, "I'll do it," and immediately taking off, you can tell he's not going fast enough. Uh, yeah. And Ray literally screams, "Stop! You're not going fast enough." Uh, he tries to ollie, fails and falls like two stories onto like this table. cafeteria table yeah. and completely splits his head open. Um, that scene is honestly very relatable it's... with so many skaters because there is, there is like those crazy stories you hear of like your friend who obviously can't do a trick, attempts to do a trick. And it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's something that skaters, every skater group has that kind of story. So I don't know, I thought, I thought that was done very, well, very well. Even still, like if you, if, if you don't skate, there's small moments like within it where it's just, anyone can kind of identify. Like whenever yeah. they're done skating there and they're just like sitting on the yeah, school stairs. Yeah, and they're just stairs, hanging out, yeah. And it's just, anyone can identify with yeah. this. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so, all right, final, final rating. What, do, what would you give it? I wanna, I, I'm not sure. I wanna give it like an eight, 
An eight? Okay, I that's would fair. Give it, I would give it higher, but the ending. Bugged. Yeah, yeah, for just, sure. It, it builds up to it and... It kind of just drops there's off. There's a point, like, at the five minutes until the end point where, like, I ex I know exactly how this is going to yeah. end. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect them to... Sh can I say, like, one part of the end? Yeah, sure. I didn't expect it, yeah. to see fourth grades, like... Like what he was oh, filming. Oh yeah, no, that was very that cool. Was cool. I liked that. I liked that. But it's just the car, the car accident it was like. I, yeah, you that could, was. You just crazy. could see it coming, mm -hmm. and I just yeah. like I'm like. Mm. Yeah, um, I'm gonna give it an eight as well, uh, solely because I did find it as a good movie, uh, like as a movie person, but as a skater, um, I didn't really think it was the best skater wise. There were moments that were relatable to skaters, but the way they're portrayed for throughout the movie is not okay. So that's that's why I'm giving it an eight. Um, it but a, yeah. It was a lot better than I, like, yes, I thought yeah, it would be. Definitely, for just, sure. Just knowing it was written and directed by Jonah Hill. Is like risky You get in into a mindset of like, this is gonna be n yeah. not great. Mm -hmm. Unless you like his style of comedy, then yeah. you're gonna be like, oh, this is gonna be fantastic. Yeah. But it's not, it's not his style of comedy at all. Yeah, no, he's actually very, very serious and very professional there's, with the. There's a few made. moments where you can kind of see like mm. his comedy kind of leak in, but it's not like, it's not. It's overdone. not like it's taking over. Yeah, yeah which yeah. I think is the problem with most of the movies. Then is like that, like the vulgar comedy kind yeah. of takes over. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, so those were our, our little throwback movies uh, for the week. Uh, I'm Zach Maletz. I'm Alex Wargo. And this was Movie Minute. Mmm.